It's Scream Week. Day two, baby. Day two. Welcome to Casual Nerd Reactions. My name is Chris, and this is Scream Week. That's right. Every day this week, we are watching another installment of the Scream franchise. And today, we're watching Scream 2, which I'm thrilled about because I don't remember anything about Scream 2 or Scream 3, for that matter. And, uh... To, to be honest, I'm a little fuzzy about Scream 4. I thought I remembered stuff, but now I'm not so sure. But the only thing I recall about this film is we're going to college. That's literally it. I have no idea who the killer is or what really to expect from the movie itself other than more Scream action. I assume we're going to make uh, some meta comments about sequels at some point. But like, other than that... It, this It feels like a blank canvas to me. It might as well be my first time watching. So... Let's just get into it. Let's experience Scream 2 together right now. Thank you for being here, by the way. I'm really excited to, to watch this with you, and I appreciate it. Hit the like button and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, and let's get into the movie. Sneak preview tonight only. Stab. Okay, I didn't know the movie uh, came into this one. I thought that was only in the... The third installment. All I'm saying is that the horror genre is historical for excluding the African American element. Hi, here you go. What's this? The, oh it's no. Even the studio sent them. And it's white. I can't believe they're just giving it out as a costume. This is such a bad idea. Bad. It's Drew Barrymore. Obviously not Drew Barrymore, but it's her character. It's Casey. Although she was not getting uh, into the shower in the first one. But it's the movie version. You gotta sex it up a little, right? What does that have to do with the plot of the story? Nothing. Can I give me some money? I need to get some popcorn. You got money. I got my money. I asked for your money. <laughs> it's just a movie. No, it's not just a movie. It's a true story. All these kids got killed a couple of years ago in California. Why is she so jumpy, though? <laughs> and by extension, so am I. I gotta go to the bathroom. I am concerned that she is going to die, but I'm not quite sure how or, or why, or assuming we're going to start the movie off with another murder, which could be completely wrong. Maybe they're going to completely subvert expectations. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll die. What? <laughs> Speaking leather jacket. What? I wasn't ready for that. Wait a second. No way. No way. Uh uh. See, if that was me, I would be out of there. I see. I don't think you would be. Because he's there. Oh, blood. Get out of there! Ain't nobody gonna notice that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. See, when parents say you shouldn't watch scary movies because it incentivizes violence, this is what they're talking about. This is what they think is gonna happen. They must all think this is a show. It's just part of the program. <laughs> That was a fun opening. Hello, Sydney. No way, though. What? Yes. Is it a prank? Does she get this all the time? Corey Gillis. Prank calls are a criminal offense prosecuted under penal code 653M. She knows her stuff. Mm. It's not an easy thing to be accused of a crime you didn't commit. Oh, this is the guy who didn't kill her mom. Two Windsor College students were murdered last night during a sneak preview of the new movie Stab. Do you think there'll be more murders? Guys, she has nothing to do with this. I could say what happened in that theater is a direct result of the movie itself. That is so moral majority. Whoa, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Violence and entertainment. Dang. Are you suggesting that someone's trying to make a real life sequel? Stab 2? Who'd want to do that? <laughs> Sequels suck. <laughs> 300 people watched. Nobody did anything. They thought it was a publicity stunt. This has nothing to do with us. Randy, a guy in a ghost mask hacked up two people in a movie theater telling our life story. Can we just go back to our pseudo quasi happy existence? Hello, Derek. How you doing? Thanks. I'm inclined to agree with with Randy. Like some crazy kid took advantage of an opportunity. However, this is a movie, an actual sequel to the original. So, is it connected? To the original though? I don't know. 
Gail's back. Hi, I'm Joel. The affiliate sent me. I'm your new cameraman. Yeah, you got experience? <laughs> no, you probably get this all the time, but I just wanted to say I'm such a big fan of your work. I just finished your book. I'm Debbie Salt. Debbie Salt? What a name. Would be such an honor for me if I could just get a quote from you for my okay. story. Begin quote. Great. <laughs> your flattering remarks are both desperate. Wow, you know. she is such a personality. <laughs> Sydney, look, it's Gail Weathers. What? Uh, kind, she saved our lives. She had cash True. plans. Do you partly? Do you plan on giving... Oh, good. Mean girls are here. Are you going to bring your friend to our little martini mixer tonight? Uh, I have a lot of work We'll to be do. there. The Delta Lambdas are very sensitive to height. Dewey? Hey, Deputy Dewey. Is he still deputy? I heard about what happened when I was on the next plane. Aw. I like him. Theater's going great. I got my first starring role. We opened in two days. If there is some freaked out psycho trying to follow in Billy Loomis's footsteps, you mm. probably already know him. We, maybe we've already met them. What am I supposed to do? Just cut everybody off, crawl under a rock? I'm gonna just hang around. I wanna make sure you're safe. What do you want, Gail? Well, I was hoping I might get just a few words with you. Thanks for saving our lives. We don't wanna do this. Oh. That's so mean, Gail. Don't just spring this on her. Reunited with Cotton Weary for the first time. Just like you, I'd like to get back on with my own life. Do you have any comments? You he got to prepare. Oh, yes. I'm here with you. Thank you. Look, she deserved it. She didn't know. He didn't Man, know. That was cold. Hey, you need to check your conscience at the door, sweetie. You should get a conscience. It's actually pretty good for society, okay? Ooh. Dewey. I hope he makes you a better what person. Are you doing here? Why don't you just leave her alone? Who got punched here? Again. Maybe you deserved it. Page 32. Deputy Dewey filled the room with his Barney Fifeish presence. You said that? Deputy Dewey oozed with inexperience. Oh. Well, right. you did invite her on your trip to the car, so. How do you know that my dim-witted inexperience isn't merely a subtle form of manipulation, enhancing my ability to effectively maneuver within <laughs> any given situation? You seem to be able to disarm her. I'm rooting for those two. I can't help it. Sydney, you made it. Hi. No, I really mean that. Hi. hi. You really mean it? It's so weird. How do you really mean a hi? Omega Beta Zeta. Hello. Yes? Do you want to die tonight? Cece? Hang up. Hang up now. Can't believe you're alone in that house. Like, leave. Go I'm out the front alone. door. Run. If you hear someone upstairs. I'm out of here. Smart. Okay, good, good, good. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe you shouldn't listen to me. All campus security. Okay. Hi. I'm calling from the Omega Beta Zeta. You gotta go back inside. Someone's harassing me. They're interfering with the Jesus, phone line. Donna, you scared me. I'm sorry. Oh, well, Don. Buffy fans? No? Okay. Cece there. Mm-hmm. Who's calling? It's no way. No, 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 no. You wish it was Ted. Don't forget to set the alarm. Girl, no, 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 no. If the creepy guy on the phone says set the alarm, Who's upstairs? Are we also potentially dealing with dual ghost faces in this film? Or is there one person behind it? Maybe no one was upstairs. Old House is Creek. Hello? Ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. Run, 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 run. I love when ghost face runs past her and runs into stuff. Well, the alarm went off. That's good. It's good she set the alarm. It's not gonna save her though. See, if this is a vampire, you would've won. But it's not. Oh, the wiping off the blood. Ugh. Jack, hurry up! Come on, man! Definitely not suicide. Great. She's on the story. The not Gale Weathers. It's happening again, isn't it? You'd love that, wouldn't you? How can you inject yourself in the story this time, Gale? Let's get you home. I'm going to be really upset for her if it ends up being her boyfriend again. Hello, Sydney. I want you. Why don't you show your face? My pleasure. <laughs> How is it? How? How? Whoa. Sweet, sweet. You okay? You okay? You okay? Yes, ask it three times. Don't run in, Derek. Derek. 
Derek, don't get yourself killed, man. Stabbed, but not dead? He went that way. Oh, gosh. Maybe it's them, the mean girls, the killers. You know, I knew this was coming. Did you? I knew this wasn't over. You are not alone, Sid. I don't know why you wouldn't assume it was over. I needs to realize the 90s is no time to play Europe. <laughs> why would anyone go back in that house anyway? Sid's got to be thinking the same thing we're all thinking, right? It's a partnership, and he's one of them. No struggle? You just cut you and ran away? But that's why it's not. Got to subvert expectations. Is Cece the girl's real name? Uh, oh, uh, no, it's uh, Casey. Casey Cooper. Well, that's interesting. Wow. I think you have a copycat on your hands, Chief. <sighs> but you now you can in your best interest to create a list of potential victims, right? Stay as far away right? from me as possible. Possibly smart for both of you. It's Derek, reasonable to assume she might have some trust issues. You are concerned with my personal well-being and not with trusting me or anything, right? Two things can be true at once. It's cop Dewey Riley. It's kind of strange that he showed up. Yeah, what's he doing here? Dewey's a good guy. Unlike some of us. Good. Recognize your own flaws, girl. If the killer is repeating what happened in Woodsboro, it's quite possible that the killer could be from Woodsboro. That's sure. All. But come on, it's not Dewey, please. I've been thinking about this whole murder thing. Have you checked out Randy? What? Randy? The guy's harmless. If we get rid of Randy, like make him a victim or the killer, then who's going to be our meta referencer in the future of the franchise? I Don't. think I love you. Please stop. I think I love you. <laughs> Isn't that what life is made of? No I'm glad she seems to be enjoying this. This is not something I would ever do. And it's not something that I would enjoy <laughs> being done. I feel like in a college campus, this is way more embarrassing and awkward than in the bar when Tom Cruise did it in Top Gun, filled with mostly, I think, the people from the military base. I know things are a little crazy. Isn't that a big rat faux pas? That is a big no-no. <laughs> See, you're not supposed to give your Greek letters to your girl. No shape, way, or form. I'll protect you. I don't oh, I get it. Book. They get Tori oh, Spelling to play Sid, and they cast yeah. Joe Blow Nobody to play me. I caught the line in the last movie when she said, with my luck, it'd be Tori Spelling playing me. <laughs> they had to do it. I think you need to just deal with that and move on. I mean, when my mom left my dad, I accepted it. That's... How do they know this? Someone's out to make a seat. Here we go. Number one, the body count is always bigger. Number two, the death scenes are always much more elaborate. And number three, never ever how do we find the killer? Wait, the what was it? Never ever what? Forget the boyfriend. It's tired. Who else do we got? There's Mickey, the freaky Tarantino film student. Mickey. But if he's a suspect, so am I. So let's move on. How about Gail Weathers? <laughs> That'd be a twist. She'll write the sequel herself. Gail's no killer. But if she's not a killer, she's a target. Why would you want to be here when the killer strikes again? I mean, granted, I, I should have read your book before I took this job. <laughs> yeah. I read what happened to your last cameraman. Ah, the guy yeah. got gutted. Reason to now get me, run. Brothers don't last long in situations like this. I cannot do this without you. Yeah, let's go get killed. I hope that's not what happens, but let's be real. It's probably going to happen. The murders and the movie and... <sighs> Maybe it's not the best time to be starring in a production. Cassandra is one of the great tragic visionaries of literature. She saw it all coming. It was her fate and she embraced it. None of us can avoid our fate, but as an artist, you can honestly face it and fight it. Not a bad allegory for what Sydney is having to do in this film. There's no understudy, I'm desperate. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's cool. I don't love the fact that everyone on stage is wearing masks. No one's gonna die on stage right now, right? Because... No! Oh! 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 Unmask him! Grab his face! Oh, is it just in her head? Take five weeks. Your escort has arrived. Derek, how long have you been here? I just got here. What happened to Mickey? We swapped. He had to edit. I need some distance. You got it. 
Mickey is my number one suspect. I don't really have anything to s s support that. It was just my head. It was Jennifer Aniston's body. <laughs> Ah, uh, friends reference. That's funny. If the killer is following a pattern, then maybe we can figure out who's next. I wouldn't follow right, that a makes killer's sense. pattern. We were all involved in Woodsboro. Gail's not here. I'm not interrupting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Real deep in thought. Just keep him on the phone. What do you want me to say? I, I don't know. Just keep him talking. He's probably not going to kill you right here out in the open. Do you want to die? Is that the best you can do? Because Billy and Stu were much more original. It's gotta be around here someplace. Presumably with a voice changer. Wait! Okay, that guy was obviously not talking. Wrong guy, dead boy. What if it's Cotton Weary? Oh man, that'd be shock. Whoa! 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 Is he kidnapping Randy or is he slitting his throat in the van? Oh dang. Oh no, not Randy, no! I mean, he gave us the rules for this movie, so who's going to tell us the rules of the third movie? <laughs> I think that I can eliminate Randy from my suspect list. You have an instant message, so that's how I'll just hit all him. Definitely don't like that message. He's here. Sid is probably just a sick joke. Assuming everything's a joke is how people end up dead. I wouldn't leave her alone by this empty corridor that we can't see through. We don't know what's happening on the other side of that wall. Said, you okay? Who calls me out of the blue? The dying Sawyer. Believe me. He's like a fame chaser now. Cotton, I can't. No, no, look. Sydney, look. This is about money. You're being very pay. aggressive. It's ten thousand dollars each. Dying Sawyer. Hello. <laughs> I, stop touching her. Give her some space. Maybe she doesn't want exposure. There's been enough exposure. Why would you want any more? What? No. See, now he is a suspect for real, because what are you doing, Cotton? Everybody thinks I'm some kind of psycho killer, and all I'm asking for is a little Diane Sawyer interview to make me... My guy, back the frick off. Sorry, Cotton, but no. Lovable and <laughs> up Sidney Prescott, everybody's favorite little victim. Ow! 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 What are you doing? You deserve this level of aggressiveness, guy. Calm down. Why did you attack Sidney Prescott? I didn't... There, there was no attack. Technically, it wasn't an attack, but... It was certainly inappropriate, crossing all the boundaries. Until you find me standing over a dead body with a knife in my hand, I think you better treat me with the rights and privileges accorded to every innocent citizen in this country. If he is innocent right now in this movie, it's easy to see why he got framed, because he screams guilty. I don't think he did himself any favor the first time around, okay? If you change your mind. Come on, take a hike. So it's probably not him because he was so crazy in this scene here. Mickey's the only other person kind of on my suspect list, but we haven't really seen him in a while, which... Kind of seems like maybe not. How you holding up, Gabe? Sorry about the problem. With the events it's be scary now. knowing somebody's out there waiting and watching, enjoying all this. How does that give it a rest? It's my. It was the wrong time. I'm sorry. See, Gail Weathers wouldn't have walked away. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I need you. No. No, you need to have your head examined. Good man. This is how you survive the horror movie. Good job, Joel. I never feel bad about anything, mm. but I feel bad now. I just want to find this. I really do. What's in here? Crowd footage that Joel shot. The killer could be on the tape. I'm not sure this is the setting. Like this large open room. I'm not sure I would want to review potential incriminating footage in this room. Oh. You're a money hungry, fame seeking, and forgive me for saying mediocre right. How do you know you're that cute when you're angry. <laughs> I was being rude. I feel like she deserved it a little. Doesn't necessarily make it right. Yay! No It's not my footage. Yeah. Is the I killer the killer, killer was I filming? Ever, ever get the girl. Oh my gosh. <gasps> holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. That was an impressive technical feat to switch from the pre-recorded to the live video which makes me think it is somebody like mickey or who else would have the technical know-how to Ooh, this is a great scene Ooh, no, no, no. did she go somewhere oh she's right out of sight i love this little maze of soundproof material cool 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 
maybe could have shut the door quietly instead of slamming it? Clearly, this dude knows you're there. I mean, dude could be a, an assumption. Oh no. Oh, Dewey, 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 Dewey. No. What? No, no, no. Yeah, run, move your butt. Ooh. Now get away from the door. When this is all over. You! Prepare to die. Okay, this must be some kind of fraternity pledge. <laughs> okay. Well, if someone wanted to kill him, um, I, this would presumably be the right time. Where are you taking us anyway? If we tell you, we'll have to kill you. Not a great joke in these circumstances. Don't ask, don't tell. No way. No way! I was gonna suggest it was the cops, but... Uh, yeah. Why did you not think he would just run you over? Shoot the gun, man! Threatening to shoot is not as effective as shooting. Oh, I didn't need to see that. Is he dead? Are you supposed to get out of here? We're not in his cop car. I don't like it though. Oh no. I mean, if I was the dude at this point, I would just play dead until one of them or both of them gets into the front seat with me. Don't you dare tell me you have to climb over Ghostface. Don't. Stop! 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 It's fine. It's fine. The guy's still unconscious or he's a really good actor. Don't do that again. <laughs> Don't do that again. Just crawl through. Obviously, a bad decision will work just as well the second time as the first. Oh no, that girl's dead. Pull, 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 go, 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 go. I cannot believe she made it out of the car. Don't go back for the mask. I mean, I wanted you to, actually. So I'm a little disappointed. I want to know who it is. No, 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 no. The time to get the mask was before, not now. He's not even there. Not even there. How did he get out? He's gone. Run, you. Oh. <laughs> who would have thought the girl who didn't go back would be the one that dies? <sighs> This isn't what it looks like. I found Dewey. I tried to help him. I... I'm kind of running out of suspects, to be honest with you. In full effect. Me alone. Eh, maybe it's I Debbie Salt. The, the killer is cotton weary. Cotton weary. Oh, it's gonna be a whole production at the end. Okay. Oh no. <gasps> is it her boyfriend? There. How did how did this happen? Derek. You're fast, Sid. Give me down. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You really want to trust your boyfriend? It is Mickey. I guess that makes sense why we didn't see him for the last half of this movie. He was out there killing folks. Since Derek here disappeared, I've been on my own all night. Thanks a lot, partner. You mother- Whoa, wait a second. He's trying to throw him under the bus. He's implicating- I gotta have a partner. Like, that's the rule. That's what- Maybe he's oh, lying. No, no, no. I don't- I don't know what to believe. The man is lying! Untie me. I say untie him. Final answer. You are dead! Dead! Oh! <laughs> Hang on, you're not supposed to shoot. You're supposed to stab. Dang. Poor Derek. He's completely innocent. He's such a nice boy, too. I'm gonna blame the movies. <laughs> That's perfect. Go on. The effects of cinema violence on society, like <laughs> Christian Coalition will pay my legal fees. It's air tight, Sid. Only forgetting one thing about Billy Loomis. I killed him. That's true. <laughs> you got a Linda Hamilton thing going. <laughs> no, no. It's nice. Whoa, no, who, uh, who is doing that? You do have a partner? What? No. It's not Gail Weathers. What? Freaking Debbie Salt? What? Mrs. Loomis? Wait, that's not Debbie Salt? That's Mrs. Loomis? Billy <gasps> oh, holy crap. 60 pounds and a lot of work later. It's called a makeover. There's only an estimated 97 active serial that's too many. in the country today. That's so too many. So making here was quite fine. 
There's not gonna be yes. a trot. She's the real mastermind here. She played you, buddy. Oh no! My motive isn't as 90s as Mickey's. You killed my son. Revenge. You shot Mickey. Killed Mickey dead. But not before he got off one shot at you. Yeah, you could have killed her by now. Stop monologuing, lady. Is that a negative, disparaging remark about my son? How dare she? Kill her. Don't do it. I was a good mother. No, you weren't. Blame your mother. She's the one who stole my husband and broke up my family. Isn't Mickey supposed to be dead? Oh, nice move, Prescott. That was why the only scene from Stab we saw other than the intro was the scene where he was talking about his, how his mom abandoned him. Nice. <laughs> The killer always comes back. We gotta, gotta do something. Whoa. Cotton's gonna come and save the day? Cotton? Let me kill her. As long as she's alive, you're never gonna be the lead story. That's what you really want, isn't it, Cotton? She's speaking his language. She sent you to prison for a year. Dude. No. Dude. Quite a predicament you're in, Sid. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview's looking real good right about now. Consider it done. <laughs> well done. I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. Cotton, give me the gun. Yeah, you gotta shoot her in the head. <laughs> it's Mickey! Can somebody get me out of here? Oh, good. I did know she wasn't really dead, but I wasn't gonna spoil that if this is your first time watching with me. Is she dead? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Maybe save one or two bullets just in case for the other one, but that was really enjoyable. Yeah, just just get it done with. Make sure. Just in case. Well done. Yeah. That's a moment. She puts down the mic. Seemingly putting him before the story right now. Can you tell us how it feels to be a hero? <laughs> He's the man you want to interview. Good for He's her. The hero. Giving Cotton what he wants, also moving the spotlight off herself, which is what she wants. <laughs> this is a great ending. I was uh, actually skeptical during the first part of this movie. I was kind of not sure about it and kind of wondering like, oh man, is this sequel going to fall flat? But I feel like they really pulled it around in the second half and it succeeded. It excelled. It played with the rules and <laughs> I had a great time watching this. By the time Ghostface was chasing down our good friends, uh, David Arquette, Dewey, <laughs> And Courtney Cox Gale uh, in the, the studio. I just love the setting of the soundproof walls. The, it was a very effective scene. I joked or I referenced Debbie Salt being a killer. Uh, I was totally kidding. It did not occur to me that she could be Billy's mom and actually be a killer. Yeah, that, 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 woo. What was the third rule? What was, what was Randy starting to say before he got interrupted? Never, ever. What? It feels like it might have been important. Obviously, it's a rule that he didn't follow or was not able to follow because he died. Unless the killer was intentionally trying to break the rules. I don't know. Mrs. Loomis certainly wasn't concerned about the rules. She just wanted revenge for the her son. Hey, look, even though she abandoned him, she still cared. That's sweet. And she doesn't want the, the parents to be blamed for the raising of the kid. And of course, Mickey just wanted to blame the movies. He might have been more interested in the rules. Surely it was his idea to track down people that had the same name as the first film. This was a great, I loved this approach to the sequel. I thought this worked really, really well. I don't, I don't know that I have anything more elaborate to say. I had a great time, especially the last 45 minutes or so. Uh, it was fire. It was a great flick. Going into the third one, I am excited because I don't remember anything about the third movie either. I'm enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying going through Scream Week with me. If you did enjoy this reaction, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Just like it. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to watch Scream 3. Uh, if you're tuning in after tomorrow, you can watch it right here. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.